Hello, art enthusiasts. Welcome back to Know. Today we're delving into the fascinating world of art history, exploring the life and the profound ideas of the renowned art historian Ernst Gombrich. Ernst Gombrich was an Austrian-born art historian and scholar who made significant contributions to the field of art history. He is best known for his book The Story of Art, which has become one of the most popular and widely read introductions to art history. Here are some key points about Ernst Gombrich's life and ideas. Ernst Hans Josef Gombrich was born on March 30, 1909, in Vienna, Austria, into a cultured and intellectual Jewish family. He showed an early interest in art and was exposed to the city's rich cultural environment. With the rise of the Nazi regime in Germany, Gombrich, being of Jewish descent, faced increasing threats. In 1936, he left Austria and settled in London, where he would spend the rest of his life. He later became a British citizen. Gombrich joined the Warburg Institute in London in 1936, where he worked until his retirement in 1976. He served as the Institute's director from 1959 to 1976. His work at the Warburg Institute had a profound impact on his approach to art history emphasising interdisciplinary studies. Gombrich's most famous work is The Story of Art, first published in 1950. This book provides an accessible and engaging overview of the history of art from prehistoric times to the mid-20th century. It is widely regarded as an excellent introduction for both students and general readers. Another notable work by Gombrich is Art and Illusion, in which he explores the psychology of perception and the ways in which artists create illusions on two-dimensional surfaces. He challenges the notion of artistic progress and highlights the importance of tradition in art. Gombrich's writings often focused on the psychology of perception, the nature of representation, and the relationship between the artist and the viewer. He rejected rigid formalism and stressed the importance of context and cultural understanding in interpreting works of art. Ernst Gombrich's legacy endures through his writings, which continue to be influential in the study and appreciation of art. His approach, combining scholarly rigour with accessibility, has made art history more approachable for a broad audience. As we conclude our exploration of Ernst Gombrich's ideas, we're reminded that art is a dynamic, evolving language that speaks across generations. Gombrich's legacy encourages us to appreciate the depth and richness of artistic expression, inviting us to explore the stories embedded in every brushstroke. Thank you for joining us on this artistic journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments.